girls, I'm going to show you how to do your jams. First of all, I have taken the Jamberry um, Nail Prep Cleanser and cleaned my nails after I cleaned them with Dawn Dish Soap to strip away the natural oil. I really like this product because it does help um, clean your nails appropriately and get rid of that oil. You also can use alcohol if you want to save a little bit of money, but this is definitely worth an investment. Um, I am doing a combination of wraps. So I have taken two sheets of wrap, and I always cut them in half. So I put this one away, and the same thing here. I won't need those. So this is what I still have left over after doing nine nails. Pretty awesome. These little pieces is what I save to do my toes. Or you may also use the two larger wraps on the sheet. Essentially, I like to use four tools. My tweezers, the cuticle pusher that's in your application kit, scissors, and clippers. And of course, my heater. You definitely need your heater. So I'm going to show you how to apply your jam then. So carrying on with my pattern, I need to use this one. Essentially what you do is you come across and you match up the size of your nail. So I know like this one is way too big, but this one, that one's too small. So I know with my nail, I am this one. So what I like to do is you kind of can pull it back a little bit and catch it, either with your tweezers or with your nail, but try not to touch much of the wrap because that's going to um, cause oil. To deposit on the wrap. I like to clip that off. I know the length of my nails that I need, so I try to measure of what I feel like I'm going to need to give me leftover wraps for my toes. So I need to change the orientation to the cut edge, and then I put it in front of my heater and heat it until it's kind of soft and floppy. I like to hold it down just to give it a little bit more stability. But I'm using my non-dominant hand. I am right-handed. So I wanted to show you how easy this is. But essentially you just lay it down over your nail and you check to see if you're good on both sides. Press down, put it back in front of the heater. And this is the tip that I just started doing. I take my cuticle pusher and put it directly on the heater. You're not going to burn it. It's not going to melt because Jamberry has created the product that is going to work best for these wraps. But essentially I'm pressing down and rubbing from the cuticle out. And then sometimes I like to take my nail just to make sure I've smoothed out all the wrinkles. You tug on the ends. And I like to heat it one more time before I take my freezer bag, put my nail inside, pull back, and heat it again. Run that off. Now, I have finished all of my nails. Normally, I do not trim them until I'm finished with all of them. But for this video, I wanted to show you them trimmed. So if this wrap was completely cool, I would lift the ends back up so I can see where I'm cutting. Notice it's still connected to my nail. And I take my clippers and essentially clip as close to my nail as I can. And remember, non-dominant hand, you can do it. Clip that off. And then you can just come back across and clean up those edges. Rub to see if it's smooth. And there's your jams. 